Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet. This is part two of the series. I'm your host for today, Landshark Rosa. If this is your first time coming in, I want to welcome you guys into the channel. And I hope you guys enjoy the video today. And if you guys are returning, then you guys already know that where we left off that we have to go to young homie's house after just, you know, going through the intro and stuff like that and making our character. If you guys haven't watched it, it is going to be popping up right about now. And now we're taking a nice, lovely stroll down to the young homie's house. So that way, and then we have a chance to get to know our Pokemon. Where is Quaxley? Quaxley, what you doing, homie? You're all here looking at the view, bro? Is that what it is? I mean, I'm not going to lie, Quaxley. This is a nice view. But I don't think you can run in this game, though. That's the thing. Is is there a run? No. But you can fix the camera. Wow. Kind of. Hold up. How, how do I fix this? Who's this down on me? Oh, wait. Oh, that's how you run? Yo, now it wants to tell me? Okay, welcome. What's going on here? This is Cabo Poco. Cabo Poco. It's not much, just a little pinch of a community, but it's home. Okay. So we are in Cabo Poco. The power of science. The power of science is amazing. If you connect with friends, you can head out on adventure, uh, adventures together up to four of you at a time. So you mean to tell me that we're going to be taking the world by storm? Let, listen, listen. If y'all want to party up, drop a comment down below and maybe we can party up together. Who knows? Who knows? All right. So we're supposed to be going to this house right now. We are going to be picking our starter finally, right? Um. So let's see how this goes. And they're gone, bro. Oh, they, yo, they bounced. And well, there's Quaxley, so. <laughs> Who can I see you, Quaxley? What are we vibing? We got Sprigagito, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you're playing with the flowers. Vibing, as always. And Fue Coco with the oranges. <laughs> yo, come on, bro. What you doing, son? You know I needed that fresh orange juice. No minute made. What's going on here? But I still love you, though. You still the homie. Are you these three's trainers? Uh, yes. I am. Aren't you the chick with the shiny Tauros? Not quite. Master Landshark has yet to make his choice. Listen, if you keep calling me Master Landshark, they, things about to get wicked. I direct this. Stop doing that. I do wonder which of these he will choose as a Pokemon. Yo, Quaxi's like, yo, fam. What the fuck is you doing with that burnt orange, fam? He's a, he's a yo, Brody. All right, now it's time. Now it's time to pick a starter, which I'm not going to lie. It happened super fast. It happened a, like, buenas, who we haven't met, have we? No, we haven't. We haven't met. I must say, I wasn't expecting to see you here quite so soon. What do you want me to do? There's nothing much we can do over here, Clavel. Come on, son. Hang on, director. Is this who I think it is? You better call me Master Landshark. You <laughs> Yes, this is our Academy's newest student, Master Landshark. He doesn't have a dad. We're still trying to figure out what his dad is. You know, Landshark lore and stuff like that. He will be attending as of today. All right, listen. So you're that kid who moved up, who moved in up the road? Yes. Yes, I did. I've been dying to find out more about you. Shh. Oh, baby. Baby, you better stop. <laughs> like, this is, this is getting serious. Um, Nimona. Nimona? Am I pronouncing that right? Normally, I live in the school dorms, but home is here. What do you say, new neighbor? Wanna be friends? Fuck no! What? Yo, imagine if you say no. Just be on savage time. Nah, we're gonna say yes, though. Love that uh, enthusiasm. We're gonna get along just fine. Yeah, put that smile away. Miss Nimona is president of our student council and a champion ranked trainer in her own right. She's the one with the shiny Tauros, if I'm not mistaken. I absolutely love battle at Pokemon battling. In fact, we should battle right now. You and me. <laughs> oh, you've got a Pokemon. She's like, you know what? Drop the Pokeballs. Throw up the hands. Run it. Easy now. You two will be in the same class. So you have plenty of time to battle later and get to know one another better. Of course, we're going to be neighbors and classmates. Nice. We'll be able to battle all we want. Bro, I'm going to put you on. Do not disturb. Do not. No. On that note, Master Land Shark, it's time, baby. It's time to pick one of these joins up, bro. I don't know who though. Have you decided which of these Pokemon you would like to be your first partner? No. Actually, I have not. Now, this is the real question. The game is saving. Do I go Quaxly, Faxly the Quaxly, Fue Coco, or do I go Sprigagito? 
No, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. This is this is hard. This is hard. But you know what? My brothers have these games, right? And normally, normally, since there's three of us, we all get to pick a starter, right? And you know, my brother, one of my brothers, he loves the water types. He always picks the water types as their starters. And my other brother, well, you know, he's like, well, you know, he's more of a fire type kind of guy. All right. He loves him, the Incineroar. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to go Spugagito. We're going to go Spugagito. Do I want him? No. Yes. <laughs> no, we'll grab him. We'll grab him. Spugagito, a grass type Pokemon. I do feel like Spugagito is slept on, though, because out of the two Pokemon they announced, I feel like he didn't get hyped up as for Coco or Quaxley. It can use its plant's power to soak up whatever water you throw at it. Wow. Would you like to go with our grass type, our good grass type Pokemon Spugagito here? Yes. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? You chose Spugagito. Would you like to give Spugagito a nickname? Um, yes. Sure. So we're going to, we're going to name them, right? Now we do have a stray cat in our area, right? We have, we actually have a lot of stray cats in our area, which is kind of crazy, but we always have this one that's always near and dear to our heart. All right. We always, he always be coming around, always causing a ruckus, but he's still dope. Top tier. All right. He is, I think he's like, he's like a black and grayish cat with swirls and we call him Swirly. All right. The beautiful, the beautiful name of Swirly. We're not going to call him Swirly Cat, just Swirly. All right. My man Swirly. I don't know what he's going to evolve into, what Speaker Gito is going to evolve into, but let's see how this goes. Let's see how this goes. And I'm not going to lie, the grass types are sturdy. I got to say that my least favorite grass type for the starters is either, is either Chestnut or Meganium. That's one of the two. Not a big fan. Now, before we keep going, we do have a question of the day for you guys, all right? And that question is, who is your favorite starter Pokemon, okay? Now, for me, I'm not going to lie. There's a lot of dope picks out there, but my favorite, I got to go with Feraligator. The man, the man just screams, I'm about to eat your ass. That, that's, just, that's just what it is, all right? Don't get mad at me. Don't shoot the messenger. He's just too sturdy. He's just too sturdy. Land Shark, I can't believe you actually chose Spigagito. Why? <laughs> I mean, like, I mean, like, way to make the perfect choice for you. You two make such a good combo. That's right, bro. That is right, bro. Can I choose? Can I choose one of these Pokemon to direct at Clavel? Don't you already have Pokemon? Oh, but did you not receive a Pokemon when you entered the academy, Miss Nimona? Not back then. No, I had other Pokemon I was focused on raising at the time. But you already got Pokemon. Nah, fam. But now I want to raise a new Pokemon alongside Landshark while he raises his own new partner. Indeed, a rather splendid idea. If you wish to raise one of these Pokemon on equal footing with Master Landshark, I shall be more than happy to allow it. Come on, Clavel. I thought, I thought we was homies. Yes. Since Landshark chose Spookagito, I'll go for this little one. Nice to meet you. Actually, the Quaxley. No. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the, welcome to the team. Got you. And then now, Coco Coco's about to be out here burning oranges and shit. All right, then. Now that we've chosen our, our Pokemon, we have to battle. I'll be waiting for you down at the beach. Come join me when you're ready. I don't want to fight you, bro. I honestly do not want to fight you. As you may have noticed, Miss Nimona is a tad overly fond of Pokemon battling. But I do hope you enjoy her battle. For a battle, it will help you go get to know your own Pokemon as well. Now, I'm going to be honest. I don't know if it's going to be like the same battle system as Arceus. Because I haven't played Arceus. So I don't know how this is going to work. I don't know if it's going to be like the normal um, standard like standard battle routine. Can I jump off the cliff? Oh, come on. Don't 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 do that, bro. You can jump. You can jump, bro. You have mystical power. Ooh, what's this? Antidote. Ooh, I like the thing. I like the design for it too. Simple yet clean. Can I jump? Yo, I can slide? I guess yo, stop it. I can slide in the DMs. Hold on. Ah <laughs> No, this is how you really gotta slide. Hold on. You gotta do a 360, like yo, dang. Shard. That's okay. Sorry, we gotta go. A potion. This is actually I like the designs. 
I like it. It's nice. Is there anything on the beach? And I I like how like there's a beam of light so that way you can see it. Anything? Is there something above here? Or, or is that the clouds? I think that's just the clouds. All right. Let me stop lollygagging and let me go fight Nimona. Nimona. Pneumonia. It kind of sounds like pneumonia. I'm not going to lie. It sounds like pneumonia. It's weird. All right. What up, Shardy? Anyone can be a Pokemon trainer as long as they have Pokemon by their side. And it's our duty as trainers to help our Pokemon grow stronger through battle. So you ready to battle me, Landshark? Yes. I guess so. Maybe. Perfecto. I'm so excited for this battle. I think I'll use Miss Nimona. Oh, come on, Clavel, bro, please. <laughs> I just remember that Master Landshark is wholly inexperienced in Pokemon. I am experienced. No, no, no. Don't talk to me. Don't talk for me, Clavel, all right? Because I have so many years of Pokemon battling underneath my belt. Don't talk to me like that. I was about to send out one of my usual partners right off the bat. I guess I'll take this chance to try on my new buddy instead. So what do we do? Do we just, like, fight each other? Do we just box each other now? Is this going to be the new gaming system? I mean, the new fighting system. Come on, Landshark. Let's have a fruitful battle. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> well, actually, yes, sir. Finally, we got our first battle going on. And so early. Let's go. I know this is your first Pokemon battle, so let's just have some fun. Hey, less, bro. Oh, wait. Oh, this is the same. Okay. I'm not worried about it then. Ooh, leafage. Let's go with leafage. Super effective. Got it. Okay, hold on. Yo. Hold on. Do we got to pack this guy? Do we got to pack this duck, bro? You must have been studying up. Smart move. Like, come on. Come on. Do I got to turn Quaxley into a peeking duck? And I did. And we won. Get out of here. I'm not that goo. I'm not a goofy. Let's go, baby. You know, I like this design. I like it. That's dope. I like it. That's nice. That's nice. Wow, not bad, neighbor. And we got 300 in prize money. I might have to lower the camera a little bit because it, the, it didn't show the prize money. Look at you winning for your first battle ever. You got even more potential than I thought. You're going to be a strong trainer for sure. Oh, thank you so much, Nimona. But now I just want to try a different strategy. Let's go again. Just one more battle. Can you heal all up my Pokemon, though? Master Landshark and his Spooky Gito are surely weary already from the last... Bro, I just two-hit Faxley, all right? He, I ain't worried. Let's run it back. Le nah, 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 nah. Let's run it back. Go back over there. <laughs> nah. I got kind of caught up in all the excitement. I'm really sorry, Landshark. Same to your Spooky Gito, too. Don't worry about it. It's all good. No worries, baby. All right. Thanks, Landshark. Okay. You two seem to become a fast friends, though you've only just met. Yes, sir. Can I count on you to take your new schoolmate here under your wing, Mr. Mona? No, I don't want to be under your wing. And you're taller than me. Look, I know I'm like 5'6", all right? But damn. You bet, sir. Well, that reminds me, since you're new to training Pokemon, there's an app you definitely need. You have a smartphone, right? Let me see it for a sec. Yo, my man just flew out of his pocket. The po- Oh, we got a Pokedex! Finally, let's go. The Pokedex will automatically register any Pokemon you catch. It might it's a must-have for Pokemon trainers. It's a super handy app. Our homeroom teacher, Mr. Jock- Mr. Jacquees? Actually made it himself. Back in my day, we used ordinary paper and hammer and notes to compile our Pokedexes. It's quite the age we live in now. Filling out a Pokedex by hand, I can't even imagine how much work that would take. Oh, no. I suppose you can't. Yep. No! Of course not, Clavel. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Because you're ancient, bro. You're a whole tree. Yet, no matter how many times may change, the wonder of meeting new Pokemon never does. That is a truly timeless pleasure. Either way. And the more Pokemon that you encounter, the more you'll find yourself growing and changing. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. I hope you both work hard toward the goal of completing your own Pokedexes. Now, Miss Nimona, I do still have a few matters to discuss with your parents. Could I depend on you to see Master Landshark to the Academy? You would be done. You'd be doing doing me quite the favor. Your boy can't talk, as you can see. Then I'll leave him in your capable hands. That sounds a little creepy. All right, little one, it's time. You and I were on our way. Wow, Fuecoco's like, yo, y'all are lames. See you later, sh later, skater. 
May I borrow to make a little more time to work on my Pokedex along with my battling? All right. Speaking of Pokedexes, Land Shark, you probably never caught a wild Pokemon, right? I'll show you the roads before I take you to the academy. Uh. <laughs> you know what? Actually, how do I catch? How, how, how am I going to catch a Pokemon in this game? That's what I want to know. Since this is open world, I got to figure this out. But wait, wait, can I toggle it? No, I don't think I can. I don't think I can toggle like running and not running. Is that mum? Hey mum, what you doing here? Oh, land shark. I hear that Nimona will be taking you to school. Yes, she will. That's right, ma'am. Leave it to me. So you already managed to make a new friend. Yes, we have. Yes, we have. But mom, you're embarrassing me. Plus so many handy facilities you can use as much as you like. Add in your new friend Nimona and it sounds like your school life is shaping up to be fantastic. Oh boy. Now you'll be staying in the school dorm so I want you to promise me you'll eat proper meals. Here's a bit of spending money to start off with. I also packed the lunch for you your first day. Yo, we got a sandwich. Yo, I don't care what nobody says. Sandwiches when your mom makes them will always hit different. I don't. It's just, it's just something that they do. I don't know how. Whenever I make a sandwich, it sucks. All right. Unless it's a grilled cheese because you can't mess up with grilled cheese. But when my mom makes like a ham, cheese, pepperoni, tomato, lettuce, it just slaps. It just slaps. It just hits monumentally different. I don't know how, but it does. And maybe you better take these two five potions. Appreciate that. Thanks, mom. Use them on the precious little partner of yours. Should it get hurt in battle? I know every day in your life. Is going to be full of exciting experience far from home. Just try to savor them all the good times and the hard times too. We ain't savoring hard times, Ma. Hold on. But if you want to come back home, you know your bed is always ready for you. That sparkling, glistening bed. Yes, sir. All right, then you have, you two have better be off, I suppose. Take care on the way to school. Say less. Say less. Oh, but I was gonna teach you how to catch wild Pokemon. Come, uh, come on, Vominos. Vominos, everybody, let's go. All right, hold on, Dora. Let me let me get over there real quick. I was gonna say or not. So we're gonna go this way. What's this fly symbol? Or is that the house? Or is that my house? Let's see. What's going on over here? Poco Path. Look at this. Oh, man. There's a Pokeball right there. Y'all see it? Y'all peeking. <laughs> All right. This is this here is Poco Path. <laughs> it's the path that leads to adventure for you and me. Out here, things are different than in town. You're going to see wild Pokemon out and about. Is that LeChonk? That is LeChonk. Uh, they'll be on the path in the grass and such. Get too close to one and you'll have to battle, but you got Spirigito for that, right? And if you want to try to catch a Pokemon, you got to use a Pokeball. Come on, son. We all know this. I've got tons. Have a few. You know what's crazy? And I know this is going to sound a little weird, but hear me out. What if, right, like you find the Pokeballs in the wild that have different things like your potions, your max potions, your repels and stuff like that. What if you can just take the items out? And then you get the Pokeball for use. You know what I mean? And it goes into your bag and you can use the Poke the Pokeballs to catch Pokemon. I think that would be a dope idea. Put me in, coach. A device for catching wild Pokemon is thrown like a ball at Pokemon. I mean, come on. We all know what to... Uh-oh. Time for some learning by doing. Try battling this Lechonk land shark. I don't want to battle the Lechonk. Yo, bring it. Bring it, bitch. You can try to catch a wild Pokemon you're battling by pressing the X button and throwing a Pokeball. When you're having a hard time catching a Pokemon, try to deal damage. All right, bet. I think this is a dope idea. I'm still going to go Leafage for the stab. Oh. I think I'm going I'm to try to catch it now. Let's see. Uh, uh, uh. Let's go, baby. 
let's go baby and as you can see guys we do not have the the light beam on our face anymore you know what i mean we we changed it all right we're good now Lachang has been added to the database as a hog Pokemon. Uh, no, because I honestly don't want to use Lachang. So. Oh, that's dope. I like that. That's nice. That's a, that's, that was clean. That was awesome. You caught the very first Pokemon you went for. Nice. I'm coming when it comes to actually, actually catching Pokemon. Maybe you should give me tips. I got you. Got you, baby. Anyways, have some more Pokeballs just in case not every catch works out. Yo, she gave me... Yo, I got 14 Pokeballs right off the rip. God damn, okay. Making it easy for me. We're going to Pokemon and then throw the Pokeball. Remember that and you'll be fine. Now go battle those wild Pokemon and catch some of them. I do not want to catch them though. Let's meet up back at the lighthouse over there. You can see our school from the top. Let's see. From the top, make it drop. Sorry. Oh, yo, I got Lachonk hair. What? That's actually kind of dope. All right, so we got a potion. Let's see what else we could do here. There's a bug right there. I see him. All right, another potion. Say less. Oh, look, it's Hoppip. Yo, Hoppip, homie. What's good? He? He... Whoa, bam, back off. Oh, that must be a bug Pokemon. It's got to be. A potion. Nah, hold up. Oh, okay. Ooh, and we got a revive. Now we're giving you items early, early. I see you. I see you, big dog. I kind of want to catch a hoppet. But jump bluff and like jump bluff ain't that bad, but I kind of don't want him, to be honest with you. I want somebody else. Antidote. Don't you let out that in it do. Got another potion. Yo, let me tell you. They're out here giving you everything. Oh, what's this? What's this bug Pokemon? Is that an ant? I don't know, but that thing got a big... Oh, that's... um. Oh, I remember him. Oh, shit, he found me. <laughs> I remember him, but I can't put my finger on it. Where he's from. What's this? Oh, a berry and a paralyzed heal. Oh, is that fletching? It is fletching. Yo, back up, back, back up. All right, so if I want to catch somebody, did I mean to do that? <gasps> you. <clears throat> oh, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> I didn't mean to throw Spinagino at him. Oh, that's funny. Palmy? Like Palmy Dragon? Or Palmy Dragon? Like from Digimon? That is, no, is Palmy Dragon from Digimon? I think so. Uh, I'm gonna go Scratch. This shouldn't kill. If this does kill, I'm gonna be sad. Nice. Let's go, team. Let's go. Alright. So, we're gonna throw a Pokeball at it. Catch Palmy. He, he kinda looks electric to me. But we'll see. All right, let's go. What is this? Hey, level seven. Let's go. Swirly learned bite. Let's go. Let's go, Swirly. Oh, let's go. He's electric. The mouse Pokemon. Oh, um, I don't know. Should we give Palmy a nickname? I don't even know what we're going to be calling this thing. It does have a nice. It does have nice hair, though. You know what we're going to call this? We're going to call this shock. Uh, no. Mm, I don't know what we're going to call this. <laughs> what are we going to call this Pokemon? Um. Oops. Never mind. Never mind. So we got Palmy. We got Palmy for. I like how that you can get other things that are like different materials with Palmies. You know, I mean, different materials from Pokemon. So you got like the Lechonk fur, the Palmy fur. I think that's dope. All right, so we're right here. Oh, look, you can get... 
Wow, it shows you so you can get Fletchings, Wingles, Weasels. That's dope. But Talonflame is also kind of sturdy. So I feel like I should get a Fletching. Let's see. Mm. Ready, set, yeah, go. All right, um, now we know that leafage isn't going to work on this guy, so we're going to use bite instead. Damn. Oh, I thought he was going to use flint. I thought he was going to get flinched. No, baby. All right, so we're going to do that. That shouldn't kill. Perfect. And then we're going to throw a pokeball, try to catch the, catch the fletching. Um, and we should be good to go here. Yo, my ball's blowing in the air. Okay, I like that. That's kind of dope. I'm not going to lie. That is kind of dope. All right, so we got a fletching. I like it. We're not going to use Lechonk, though. We're going to use... We're going to get Palmy. Fletching. Because... Or Fletchling. And we're going to name him. What are we going to name him? I have no idea. I have no idea. Y'all, we are not good with names right now. Your boy's drawing a blank, so we're not... Um... <laughs> Yo, I don't know. Oh, never mind. I keep pressing B way too many times. Perfect. Okay. So we got flushing feathers too. So what we're going to do is we're going to head on over to the lighthouse. Unless there's another Pokemon that I want, then we're going to be good to go here. There is another Pokeball though. So we're going to slide on over. We're going to slide over in the jet ski. Oh, never mind. I've been bamboozled. You're getting the hang of how to catch Pokemon, okay? Yeah. Yeah, bro. We just caught like three. Go! Whoa, what was that? So we're going to figure out what that was. Let's see. I never heard that kind of cry before. It could be some strong Pokemon or something. I say we find whatever made that cry. Let's take a look around Landshark. Just be careful. There's... A kind of unsafe cave not far from here and steer ahead. And I know your rotom phone can oh can help you keep safe, keep you safe, but watch your step by these cliffs anyways. Say less. However, with that, with that being said, we're gonna be ending the video right here, y'all. I want to thank everyone that watched this video. If you made it this far, make sure to give this a thumbs up. And if you guys haven't already, subscribe and comment down below if we did pass the vibe check. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. This has been your boy Landshark Rose speaking. Treat every day like a Friday. And I'll catch you guys later, baby. Take care.